Today we're testing out the Mission Darkness Fair Day fabric. And I just wanna thank Mission Darkness for sending this fabric to me so we can test it out. I honestly had never prepared for an EMP and I wanted to learn a little bit about how to get my items prepared for an EMP and it was really great that they sent me this. It's a great way to start. Um, today we're gonna test the fabric together and see if it's worth the buy, if it actually is durable, and if it's, if it's effective. So let's check it out. All right, let's do it. An EMP, or an electromagnetic pulse, is a short burst of electromagnetic energy that can cause damage to electronic equipment. It's pretty cool. It's, it's shiny. It feels delicate. And metallic. It, it, yes, it feels kind of delicate. Feel it, Jim. Yeah, it feels like paper, but the texture of a fine metal woven material. Yeah, it's 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 thin but tough, like woven. It's woven. Yeah. Yeah, it's woven. I just worry it's about the creasing that could happen. Yeah, it creases, and would it the will creasing crease. cause it'll just it reflect to be, it at a different angle to decrease the efficacy? No, it'll just shoot that signal back uh, whatever angle it's hitting. See. Or, or at another a angle. Different angle. But if it's covered, it doesn't matter because it's just shooting back all that microwave frequency. Okay, so let's cover and see what it does. In order to test the effectiveness of the Faraday fabric, we're going to be using a microwave and an EMF meter, which is an electromagnetic field radiation detector, in order to tell us how much radiation the Faraday fabric is actually blocking. Stop the microwave. 189. Yeah. That's a lot. So now I want to switch the mode over to test for a different signal. Let's see here. And that is ready. Turn on the microwave. Now it's like really close compared to the one foot away. So, hmm. Maybe let's try doubling it now. Okay, we have a reading of 17. It's not going up anymore. No. So we're just gonna drape it over for now. Once. And then we'll double it up and see how effective it is once we double it up. One layer of the Faraday fabric did manage to block out some of the electromagnetic signals but I wanted to see how much it would block out if I doubled the layer. So now we doubled the sheet and see if it's gonna cause, Any... a, if it's gonna make a difference. After doubling the layers of the Faraday fabric, I was truly impressed with the amount of radiation that it was able to block out from the microwave. I was gonna assume you're not getting radiation at that point, but really no, you but still the microwave are is still radiating its radiation mm -hmm. and that's how even though potent, it's shut off already. And that's pretty potent for it to do that, which is scary because I already know this causes cancer. Yeah. That's craziness. Thanks for testing that out with us. Overall, I think that the fabric would work really well in a suitcase of some sort and po probably double layer double around layer. and then taped together. That would be really great. I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get one like a suitcase that locks and then add this as an inner liner. I go. think that would be a great use for this fabric. Protect all your electronic devices. Yeah. And another thing that this is a great fabric for, I think, is for creating like curtains, perhaps even oh, yeah. for your windows. Great I was idea. thinking for my bus. It's a nice texture. It looks cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it would be it would be really nice, mm -hmm. but it would also provide, you know, the protection that protection from the wind all the windows that I have in my bus. So that is actually really cool. And I just wanted to thank Mission Darkness once again for sending us this fabric to test out and putting my Faraday kit together. This is all going to come in very handy. And if you want to send some more, it would be even more helpful. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> I think they sent that they send this um they have it in different sizes and of course Mission Darkness has a lot of other products that you may be interested in if you're interested in protecting your electrical devices from EMPs and all of that good stuff so if that's you make sure you check them out on Instagram and we'll see you in the next video